All right, YouTube, we're gonna try something a little different here on the channel today. Oh, I'll show you a couple of my dad's projects. This is my dad's wife's. I believe it's an 06 LJ. I don't know a lot about Jeeps, my dad does. He's uh, newly retired in the last year or two. Built the garage outside of this garage to so be able to work in. Um, this one they just purchased out of South Carolina. This uh, fall. This would be the fourth one they bought. This would be the first one. Uh, what are these, like a JK four-door? Uh, 35s. This one they went all out on, it was the first one. Uh, bought this one out of New Jersey. Had it shipped up here. Uh, went through a little bit of a fiasco getting it to pass emissions because of uh, catalytic converters and they broke a bolt off and it was a big ordeal. But all taken care of now. Uh, this one's going to be for sale if anyone's interested. Uh, really, really nice work. I uh, had to ask my dad to get you into the suspension and stuff, but got all the nice fenders and everything on it. Then this one is my dad's baby. The second one they bought. Uh, 2000, 2001 on 38s. Um, custom four link suspension. Of course, every single one of these you get in there, you got to do, uh, you know, oil pan gaskets and remain seals and a pile of other stuff. Up here in New York, everything's so rotten. Uh, this one's pretty much ready for a, for a paint job or maybe to go for sale. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. Can't do it really. Hard to do it justice. Here's a stock to the coma. <laughs> you know, so. And I'm not a big fan of the exo skeleton, like I call them, or whatever. But man, this thing's pretty sweet. So, yeah, this one was a rust bucket. This one had a good body, terrible frame. So my dad literally went through and patchworked the entire frame, like, the right way. Just cut out all the bad to get into the good and custom fit patch panels and make your own. It's all painted and anywhere where you could silicone it to seal things up. Or anywhere you could drill weep holes. I think some of the frame kits come with the weep holes. Yeah. So. I'll show you guys another video here. I'm going to do try to do a couple of little different videos. So they bought. Um, Dad and I went and bought another LJ. Uh, this fall. Right before they bought this one. And body was terrible. So the opposite of this one. Body was absolutely shot. But the frame was good. And it was an LJ. So this one's a TJ. A little shorter I guess. So we were gonna go through and fix that one up for his wife. Realized it was gonna to be too much work. So she decided to go this route and buy this out of South Carolina. All it really needs, I think, is a rear main seal. Um, I don't remember what it's got for miles, but it runs really good. Came with the hard top and everything. The other one, uh, the other one there was a rust bucket. So we started working on that one and it's just too far gone. So we'll show you what we're gonna do with that one. Um, probably in the next video. I'm trying to do it with a different phone here. So we'll uh, see if I can get them uploaded. This will be like a test video. And we're thinking about kind of not really changing the whole channel, but starting to cover a lot more of the Jeeps. Uh, Dad's retired, looking for, you know, side projects. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the other the other one's going to be a really cool project. It was a 2006 LJ. Uh, it's yellow. And it was rotted, like inner fenders, outer fenders, uh, rocker panels, uh, torque boxes. I mean, body mounts, everything was shot. So we'll we'll get that one that video next. Uh, guys, let me know if you like this kind of stuff. Let me know if you guys are into the Jeeps. Uh, you know, you got stock, newer, custom, basically basically bolt-ons. Not a lot of like cutting and welding. That one back there, I mean, <laughs> full blown uh, fabrication project. Really getting into a frame that was that bad. And then the other one is kind of different and unique for Dad and I because. Neither one of us enjoy body work. And that one there is 98% body work and a lot of fabrication. So uh, hopefully you guys like the new videos. We'll try to get some more up. I got a better phone now. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys.